Hey, welcome to my channel and to another weigh-in video. Are y'all curious? Listen, I'm going to tell you about my week in a minute. I'm going to tell you. I'm going to tell you how my week went. I'm going to tell you this first. Down here in the south, we got June bugs. Y'all got June bugs? My porch is just scattered with dead June bugs. I ain't seen no live ones flying around. I ain't got but one tree. I don't get out there and see it. So I don't know if this guy had any on it or not. But my porch is scattered with them. And Sebastian was over here the other day. He goes, what's that? I said, a June bug. He said, a June bug. I said, yeah, a June bug. He goes, would it hurt me? I'm like, it's dead. I'm like, they don't bite. He, he wanted to know. I said, they don't bite. They don't hurt you. They don't bother you. He said, what do they do? I said, they just fly, they just fly around and, and be June bugs. I said, you know what we used to do? <laughs> you know what we used to do as kids? <laughs> Tie a string around them. <laughs> let them fly around. <laughs> I can't help it. <laughs> he, he, he wasn't so sure about all that. <laughs> he knew he wasn't going to do it. Anyway, that's funny. We sit out here because he likes to blow the bubble. I got bubble stuff all over this porch. I just leave it out here. Ain't no sense to put it up. I just leave it out here. Ever since he's been here, it's been on this porch. Just so we can come in and out, in and out, you know. But this is speaking of bubbles. I'm going to tell you my way in a minute. Speaking of bubbles, we was over at the sink and I was letting the uh, pot soak. I can't remember what I had cooked in it. But I just needed it to soak in some, you know, dish soap. And the bubbles had mound up over the top, and he walked over. I was doing something in the sink, and he walked over. He goes, "I said, don't you do it." He was fixing the he was fixing to blow it. I said, "I don't." He said, "Why?" I said, "Cause I don't want it all over my sink. You know, it was going to go everywhere, and I didn't feel like wiping it down." He goes, "Anything for you, Momo." <laughs> I told RJ. He said. Could you let me borrow that little one in a, in a little while? Can, can I borrow that one, that, that Sebastian? I'm like, yeah, you can. <laughs> Anything for you, Momo. Uh, so anyway, my way in. Got me a walker out here. My um, way in goes like this. I weighed in at 315.4 for a loss of Hold on to your hats, 7.6, and that puts me at 61, 61.7. I did not see that coming until yesterday. I was down nine pounds yesterday, so I'll take almost eight today, because you know how your body fluctuates day to day. I knew the other day I was losing, but I didn't know it was going to be that much, so... I'm quite pleased. Well, I wrote down uh, a few things here that I had this week. Because I did something um, kind of controversial this week. You ready for this? I lived my life. I know, I know that that's a controversial subject. How do you live your life and still lose weight? Well, I did. And I'm going to tell you, th this is what I did. I had popcorn at the Top Gun movie, which was so good, by the way. It was, oh my gosh, it was good. It was good. I read the seating chart wrong on the app and set us almost at the front, like three rows back. And so my eyes were burning by the time we were through. I, I read the where the screen was wrong on the app. Oh my gosh. I said, well, I won't make that mistake again. But it was good. So what I did was I had popcorn. I had a small bag of popcorn. What I didn't do was have buttered popcorn. Ah, you see that? What I normally like at the movies is buttered popcorn. Tons of butter. You know, I go to like one movie a year, I've already been to two. So if I go to one, I'll have buttered popcorn because 
I don't go, but like I say, like one movie a year. I want my butter popcorn because I enjoy that at a movie, but we had already been one time this year, and I had my popcorn fix, so I told David, I'm like, I really want it. It was hard not to get it. Oh my gosh, it was so hard. And we sat down, I took a bite, and I looked at him, and I said, oh, I did not like this. <laughs> he says, is it, is it a dried up old mess? I said, yes. So I sat there, I took a few bites in grudgment. <laughs> is that a word? <laughs> and if we know, I was like, oh, okay, well, this is good popcorn. So I dealt with the popcorn. I bypassed a sticky situation, I held to my guns, and I pulled through. Here's something else. I did have what I had was KFC. What I didn't do was eat my face off in order where I could eat all day and all night, you know, on a big bucket of chicken. I ordered a chicken sandwich and fries and a Diet Coke. And while the chicken sandwich was fried, it was delicious. I hadn't had it yet. I've been wanting to try it. The fries were good, too. Um, I was still able to eat out, enjoy it, track it, stay within my points. Matter of fact, let me tell you, I left the week with 15 points on the table of my weeklies. And I tracked everything. I'm here to tell you, I tracked, I tracked everything, even if it was a zero-point food which I hardly have any to track because I hardly eat any zero-point foods. Because, like I said before, I don't like them. <laughs> I'll eat a banana, probably one banana a day, and some cucumbers not every day. Um, bald egg if I have it. Other than that, there's not a whole lot of zero-point foods I eat. I don't just cook chicken to eat chicken. Mm -mm. All the food I like's got points. <laughs> That's how it goes. So I think I did good. I got one meal, just ate the one meal, didn't get anything to eat on the rest of the night. You see what I'm saying? Because where these people will get enough, and then we'll have enough for another meal. I didn't. I didn't have another meal of it. I had the one meal. All right. This is the one that's gonna cause you to faint. <laughs> what I did do was have a little Debbie cake. What I didn't do was eat the whole box. So, Sebastian, he's been spending the night with me, you know, every few days since he's been down here. And uh, he, he wasn't able to come again. He, he's going to come tomorrow and play with me during the day because I've got a couple doctor's appointments today and tomorrow. So he wasn't able to spend the night. And uh, But he's going to stay the day tomorrow because he goes back Saturday. So he spent the night the other night. And he, come, he likes his little unicorn cakes I got him. The first week he was here, he fell in love with them. They're, and they're just little sticks. They're not a whole big Debbie cake. They're just like a little oblong, rectangular, small stick. Come to find out there's strawberry inside. If you're new to my channel, you do not know my love for little Debbie cakes. I have never met a little Debbie cake that I didn't like. I will eat my face off in little Debbie cakes if I am allowed to. I cannot control myself. That's why they do not come in my house. They come in for Sebastian. I know they're Sebastian, so I leave them alone. Well, here's the thing. He come walking in there, whatever day that was, and he had two of them. I said, oh, you're going to eat two of them? He goes, no, one's for you. I said, one's for me? He said, yeah, we can eat them together. Was I going to turn that down? No, sir. We sat over at that table and we ate our little Debbie cakes together. He ate his and I ate mine and that was that. That was the end of it. It was delicious. You know how long it's been since I've had one of those? Do you even have a clue how long it's been since I have eaten a little Debbie cake? OMG. It is not one of those things that, oh, you stay away from it, then you probably won't want it. No. I'm just as much in love with them now. Ooh, there's a spider on my rail. He better stay over there. Oh, black spider. 
anyway. So, I, I think I did good. I think I did good to um, do those things, live my life, enjoy a meal out, enjoy a movie, enjoy time with my grandson, and all three of them involved food, and I think I made better choices. Are, are they good choices? Probably not better than a salad. I don't know. <laughs> better than a, a grilled chicken sandwich? No. But you know what? These things are going to happen. And I think if we can make a better choice than the worst choice, then I think we've done good. There's like maybe a, a good, better, best, worst, better, best. I don't know how, however you want to grade it. There, there are levels of choices that we can make, and we make the choices we make. Now, coming up to that subject, I'm just going to tell you, some, that, that spider's getting, <laughs> that spider's getting to me. He, he's like almost right in front of me. I, I appreciate it. I appreciate it. This, this is something that's been stuck in my craw for a little bit, a little bit. Now let me preface this by saying it ain't kept me up at night. I'm not losing sleep over it, but it's just been stuck in the crawl. And that's the food police. If you've noticed, I quit doing my what I eat videos. That's because I get tired of being picked apart. Everything I eat, getting picked apart, even my mindset, you know, things like that. And I was just like, I told David, I said, I'm, I'm not doing it anymore. I'm not doing I told Joan, I said, I'm not doing it anymore. I'm, I'm sick of it because I'm, I'm tired of getting the, the same comments. Well, what is it to anybody what anybody else eats? You can have an opinion about it, but you ain't got to be judgmental about it. You can be supportive of somebody without making them feel like you're tearing them down without making them feel like you're browbeating them. You, you see what I'm saying? So I was talking to Joan, and, and these are the same food police that don't have anything nice to say when I lose weight. They just come for me if I gain weight. Well, I even have when I've um, lost weight. I've, I've had my choices picked apart. I was talking to John and, and Ro, and, and they're just like, don't let them get to you. And I'm thinking to myself, they, they didn't get to me, they just aggravate me. But I'm thinking, like what they said, why should I let it get to the point to where I quit doing something that I enjoy? And obviously, some of y'all enjoy whether it's to get an idea of what to eat or just to see what I eat. Just curious. Okay, what do you eat? Hold on. Uh, a female cardinal. Loved one. Loved one. I hadn't seen my cardinals at all. Oh, beautiful. Beautiful. They went the mail. I have not seen my cardinals out here all year. That's the first I've seen of my cardinals. Oh. You know why that's so special? Because we're coming up on the two year anniversary of Noel passing. So I kind of like to feel like that was her. So what we were talking about why should I let knowing that I'm going to get commented on keep me from doing what I like to do and what I was saying, but some of y'all obviously like to see. I'm like, well, I'm not, I'm not going to let it bother me. Comment. I don't, I don't have to worry about it. I just don't have to worry about it. I, I just, I just, I just can't have time in my life to worry. There's other things 
that are more important than what somebody thinks about what I eat and what somebody thinks about how I'm dealing with my journey. But see, there's the, there, mm, there's the key to it. It's my journey. Just like yours is your journey. And we do it the best way we know how. The one way we see fit, however we, we know to do it, that's how we do it. If we're not perfect, we're not perfect. And guess what? We're not perfect. What even is perfect? What, what is perfect? Perfect to you might not be perfect to me. Perfect to somebody else might not be perfect to somebody else. There's no such a thing as perfect, but what you feel as perfect is not what everybody else feels. So I don't think you have to push your judgment off on somebody because it doesn't align with how you think it should. Just be supportive. Just say, okay, you'll get them next time, or way to go, you lost weight, you did good this week. I'm proud of the choices you made. I don't know, that's just all I'm gonna say about that. I just, I'm, I'm just not gonna let it. Um, I'm just not going to worry with it no more. I'm going to go on back and do my videos. And like I say, I don't care if you like me or not. Like me or like me. Take me or leave me. But that just felt, it felt different. It just, it just hit different. You see what I'm saying? So, I think that's all I know. Like I said, Sebastian's coming back. Holly's already starting to talk about planning Jacob's first birthday in three months. Oh my gosh. He went for his nine month checkup yesterday. Y'all ain't seen him. He is rolls from head to toe. There's like a roll every inch in his arms. <laughs> he is just a little Michelin baby. <laughs> He weighs 23 pounds. <laughs> He's nine months old. <laughs> He's my little chunky baby. My little chunky chunky. I just love him. Oh my gosh. He's the, and he's the sweetest baby. He is just, he has such a good nature about him. And as soon as they walk in the door, he looks over and sees me. He just starts grinning. And oh my gosh, that melts my heart because that tells me he knows me. That, that's what I was afraid of the most is maybe what if he didn't get to know me and pop on but he does he knows us and so that's that's the best but she's already starting to talk about planning his first birthday and I think she's going to do a Star Wars thing but she said she has seen little baby Jedi robes I'm like oh my gosh if she puts a Jedi robe on that little child I will just faint <laughs> <laughs> so we're gonna have the party over here because we got a, a lot more parking. We got a whole backyard, a whole side driveway, the front yard. <laughs> you can park all over this yard, plenty of room. So we're gonna have it. And his birthday is August 31st, so we're gonna have it the 27th, which I guess is a Saturday. I didn't look, but Sebastian will still be down. If she has it the week after his birthday, Sebastian will already be gone back. So this way he gets to stay and party with us. So I'm excited about that. But that kid, I'm gonna tell you what. Sebastian, he asked me the other day, he goes, is Jacob coming over? And when he's here, he don't want him touching him. <laughs> I told y'all, he said he, he just wasn't interested in having babies touch him. <laughs> So, I'm like, no, he wasn't coming. But, he got, I got him this little thing at the Dollar Tree. Oh my gosh, let me tell you, that's what I was going to tell you. I made that kale. Ooh, we liked it. It was kind of like a cross between a collard green and a mustard green. It wasn't completely flat like a collard green. It was kind of curled up like a, a mustard green. And I cooked it. He never waved at me. I don't know why. This and whatever. 
that's right, I didn't look over there. <laughs> he used to speak, and then when his wife left, he quit speaking. Every now and then, every now and then, he'll pop up something. My neighbor up, four houses they built in front of us, the neighbor at the end, he just bought the house like sometime last year. They done moved out, so it's up for sale. The second house has been lived in by three different people, and then these two here in front of us has been the same people. But my cousin told me <laughs> that his girlfriend's children didn't want to switch um, school districts, and they found out about it, and so they had to move back up to the school district where they wanted to stay. I said, well, how do you know? What well, a lady down the street told me. How does she know? She know everything. <laughs> so, <laughs> I got a straight line in. <laughs> so, I guess that'll do it for me today. I, I don't know nothing else. I'm trying to think, do I know anything else? Let me let me ask let me ask you people in North Carolina. Do you find that the people at Food Line are not as friendly as the people at Harris Teeter? The people at Harris Teeter, when they pass you, will break their neck to speak to you. That must be the friendliest grocery store in town. Break their neck. When I go down here to the food line the past two times it's like they got a two by four in their neck. They won't. They won't even look their eyes over at you. The little cashier wasn't nice. Nobody offers to help you. The little bag boy, he wasn't nice. No, nobody offers to help you out. They don't speak to you coming up and down the aisles. Well, this one woman does when I see her. She speaks, and the meat man, he'll speak when it's the one regular meat man. Now the little girl at the deli was nice, but I don't. I don't know if that's a, a food line thing or just my store thing. So I'm just curious. I'm just curious to know if your food line people is nice. Oh, I got a doctor's appointment today. I got a, uh, I was supposed to go in person and they called me yesterday and said she wasn't going to be in the office. I have to do a video visit. So that'll be my third video visit this week. Which, I mean, it's nice not having to leave the house, especially as hot. It's been 140 yesterday. It was so hot. I don't know what it got up to. The forecast was 98. I went and got groceries and I come and set the house. And the air conditioner just struggled. Oh, Lord, he went down the road. And uh, so I got a video visit with her this morning. And then a video visit with my primary care tomorrow. So then I got a. Oh, I got an appointment. Next one? Or the week after? I don't know. I got another one. So, I just, I have done nothing this month to pay for doctor bills and medicines all month long. I'm just about tired of that. <laughs> I've just had, a, had enough of that. The past three or four years, by this time of the year, I have met my out-of-pocket, so everything has been free, no cost. Well, I ain't met it this year. I don't like that. <laughs> I like just picking up free medicine. I like going to the doctor and not having to pay. So, listen, they got it now on my health app. You can prepay on the app, on the, the computer. You ain't got to wait to pay. Oh, it's the cutest little baby squirrel. Oh my gosh. Okay, so I must have a family of squirrels in this tree because that's a baby. That is cute. Anyway, they let you pay for you to go to the doctor. But I will say, my other healthcare system, they like, they'll bill you if you want to be billed. I'm like, well, I can pay it now, I'll pay it later. So I might as well pay it now. So anyway, that's all I know. Trying to think. I, I, listen, that's it. That's all. <laughs>
<laughs> uh, I'll, I'll leave you with this. Be kind. Be kind. Treat people like you like to be treated. That's all I'm going to say about that. So, I'll leave you with a loss of 7.6. I'm happy about that. What will happen next week? We'll have to see next week. <laughs> but I plan on staying on track. I have tracked everything. I told you I've tracked everything. I have watched what I eat. I have made good choices. So that's why I think it, it, it paid off. Even though I didn't eat everything perfect. Even though all my food choices weren't perfect. And everything was not a whole food. And I had maybe more than 90-10. Maybe I had 85-15. I don't know. But, uh, I didn't keep score. But I'm going to start doing my videos again. And so that's all I know. All right. Well, I'll see you in my next video.